One of the things I love about Bioneers that is, is that as big as we grow, we are still so grassroots. We depend wholeheartedly on our interconnections in this network of wild relatives and cross-pollinators. It gives me this feeling of family. This is my seventh conference, and over this weekend, I have been able to see so many friends, supporters, kind faces, and people that I love and that love me too. Thank you for being Bioneers. We leverage our dollars wherever possible and partner with some of the most amazing people and organizations. I feel so honored to be a part of this community for so many reasons, but one of them is the reciprocity that is ever present. Each year, Bioneers works with a Native American artist to produce unique and stylized Native American art that brings our stage to life. We also produce these pieces with the intention of our loving community being able to take them home as a piece of fine art and a memory of our shared time together. This year, our artist is Danny McCoy Jr., a Muscogee Creek and Potawatomi from Bristow, Oklahoma, deep in the heart of Indian country. For the Bioneers stage art, McCoy chose to paint 12 species of birds to remind us of our theme this year, Uprise. Of each species, there is one male and one female. He painted them in a style that reminds us of Canadian shaman artist Norval Morisot, choosing mostly California species and just the two scissor tails that remind him of his youth in Oklahoma. We host a silent auction throughout the weekend that takes place in the front of the exhibit hall as you walk in. When you bid on one of the birds and if you win, your investment is split 50-50 between the Young Native Artist and the Bioneers Indigenous Program two social investments you can feel great about. The auction closes at four today. And now I'd like to share with you about our very special performance happening this afternoon in the Showcase Theater. Seating will begin from 4.30 to five. The Native Arts and Cultures Foundation and Bioneers Indigeneity Program are partnering to co-produce a theater performance of Hawaiian poet laureate Ke Aloha's multimedia show, The Story of Everything. It's described as a creation story, an epic poem format, and based on multiple knowledge systems, it explores the question, where do we come from? With the use of science, poetry, storytelling, digital projection, movement, music, visual art, and chanting, it's sure to be life-changing. Ke Aloha is not only the poet laureate of Hawaii, he is also an MIT trained nuclear physicist and this is his life work. I ran into him yesterday, we talked shop briefly. It's got a cast of 10 native Hawaiians, five musicians, four dancers, and a chanter that will be singing to us a creation story that dates back thousands of years. I asked him how it's going. He said, he's ready to blow people's minds. <laughs> Native Art and Cultures Foundation is committed to the long journey. By empowering today, American, today's American Indian, Alaska Native, and Hawaiian Native artists to tell their stories, they uplift indigenous communities to open public consciousness to a positive future. Like us at Bioneers, Native Art and Cultures Foundation believes it is our collective responsibility to honor the wisdom and knowledge of seven generations back and the involvement and enlightenment of seven generations ahead. We are honored to work together to celebrate indigenous vision. So please, don't miss the opportunity to share space and time with us to see this once in a lifetime performance of the story of everything in the Showcase Theater this afternoon. Thank you. <laughs> 